Join me as we explore the beautiful and exquisite attributes of the emerald in today's video. Hello everyone, Jennifer L. Scott here and welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. Homemaking can become monotonous, so I like to find inspiration in unusual places. The next gemstone we will look at in our series is the glorious emerald. Ah, the emerald. Does a more beautiful stone exist? According to the International Gem Society, the emerald symbolizes royalty, wit, eloquence, and foresight. For over 5,000 years, emeralds have been one of the most desirable and valuable colored stones, and it is the birthstone for people in the month of May. Today, emerald, ruby, and sapphire form the big three of the colored stones. Is emerald your favorite? Emerald is certainly one of mine, as green is my favorite color. Wearing beautiful baubles like this around the house add an infusion of beauty and majesty to the day. I'll leave the beautiful ring linked down below, along with this beautiful music box. As it's a new year and my other journals are filled to the brim, I'm starting some new ones. This standard issue notebook will be my content creation notebook for the year. Part of homemaking also involves organizing your thoughts through journaling. So here is where my creative ideas for 2023 will live. I'll be using the Emerald Journal for my everyday journal. Writing down our ideas, tasks, hopes, dreams, goals, and visions is important every day. It keeps us grounded and our ideas crystallized, whereas otherwise they'd be floating around in the ether, likely to be forgotten by us. Now let's enjoy the color green in our homemaking by making one of my favorite vegetarian pasta dishes, pasta florentine. I start off by melting butter in my cast iron skillet over medium heat and adding spinach, the perfect emeraldy vegetable. <laughs> By the way, I'll have the recipe down below with exact measurements. While the spinach cooks down, I'm boiling the pasta according to the package instructions. When the spinach is cooked, I remove it from the pan and set it aside. Then I melt more butter in the pan and add crushed garlic, which I forgot to add to the spinach, so I'm just adding it here. And flour to make a bechamel sauce. I whisk this together and pour in my milk and continue whisking until the sauce is thickened. Then I add Parmesan cheese, a block of cream cheese, salt and pepper, and some bone broth. Mm -hmm. 
Sometimes I add wine instead of bone broth, just depending on what I have on hand. I whisk this until utterly creamy, and then add in my artichoke hearts. I place the cooked pasta in a casserole dish and pour the creamy sauce on top. Then I top it with a cooked spinach and add some breadcrumbs for texture. I mix this all together until every piece of pasta is coated with the sauce. This dish is so good. I highly recommend you try it. Now let's explore the emerald as it relates to flowers. Finding green flowers is somewhat rare. Supposedly, green flowers are rare because insects are naturally meant to differentiate between the flowers and the leaves. But I did find these beautiful green chrysanthemums in the grocery store. So instead of bringing green in with foliage, I'm going to do it with flowers. Some of the most common green flowers are found in orchids, roses, spider mums, and of course, green hydrangeas. These chrysanthemums remind me of gorgeous candy pom-poms. I mix them with a white variety while always gauging the height and then add in some pretty white berry cypress foliage. This combination with the lemon tablecloth certainly cheers up the dining room this winter. Wearing the color emerald or any gemstone color does give one a decidedly regal feel. I know I feel it when I wear this pajama set, which I've shown you many times. It's one of my favorites. I know tonight I'll be having some emerald dreams while wearing these beautiful silk pajamas. It's a new day and I've been working rather hard, so I'm taking a break by making an oat milk matcha latte. It's a rainy, dark afternoon, so a creamy and vibrant drink appeals to me. 
I start by heating up one cup of unsweetened oat milk in a saucepan on the stove until it's almost boiling. I then pour this into a heat-proof canister and add some honey for sweetness. Then I add Peak's matcha green tea and froth with the immersion blender. This is creamy and delightful and foamy enough as it is, but I want to make it more like a dessert or a cafe treat. So I'm adding a dollop of homemade whipped cream. Delightful. I'm having this for tea and dipping into Henry James's letters to rest on this dark winter's afternoon. I hope this infusion of emerald green has given you inspiration for your own homemaking. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel as my gemstone homemaking series continues. What gem will we explore next? Thank you for joining us. Keep calm and remain classy, and I'll see you in my next video. Love, Jennifer. Thank you.